my dear friends i finally got a haircut if you guys don't know me you have to watch my older videos and see how my hair was behaving and i was just not happy with it i've been wanting to get a haircut for so long but i've been waiting and waiting i don't know why anyways it just feels so nice and fresh right when you get a haircut so i really love it today we're going to talk about is an archives but I just want to give a shout out to my friend who cut my hair. He's not paying me to do that. I just think he's amazing. <laughs> and if you guys are in New York City ever, or if you live here, you have to check this guy. He is Rob Slay. Yeah, that cool and that fancy. And you have to check out his Instagram. Please give it a like because I think it would be really nice. And he's going to be so happy with that. I'm not getting anything from that. It's just because I really love him. He's also amazing with color, just so you know. But I wanted to talk to you about the remaining items I got from the archives, Act 1. I'm actually going to show you what I got from Act 2. It was just a few items. But I need to show you because I'm going to be reviewing these in about a week. And you guys know the archives, if you don't know what, what it is, I have a video specifically to explain what it is and to tell you how to score items from it. So next week, when I see you again, I'm going to be reviewing the Kara shirt, which is this beautiful eyelet piece. I actually got in two colors. This is from Act 2. And I believe one of them is actually available. I really love this one. The color is really nice. I'm not keeping everything but i really wanted to show you before i return some of them the curtis jumper which is in cashmere very comfortable and this skirt which i believe is the tammy skirt and it's very cute sorry that's so wrinkled and just before i show you what i'm going to be reviewing today which are the pieces from the archives in a few days i don't know if you noticed but i have been sharing two videos weekly so this Sunday, I'm going to be reviewing for you the C New York collection. I was not going to get anything, but I ended up getting this shirt, the Chloe shirt. Actually, this one as well, which I believe is sold out, but hopefully by then it's going to be back in stock. It's called Mariana. I also got this new Chloe to try and share with you guys. I have not decided if I'm going to keep it or not, but I really wanted to show you. And I also ordered the Gary jumper in this new stripe color so it came with this little bag inside which is from the c new york collection and i would love to hear from you if you guys got anything from that collection we're going to talk about it next week but i just wanted to show you real quick so you can stay tuned for my next video now in today's video i'm going to start from my favorite item of this entire haul which is which is this beautiful jumpsuit called Miley. And you guys, this is really good. So if you have a chance to get that in the pre-loved market or from the restocks, I would say go for it because it's really flattering. It's one of the pieces that I loved the most. I think it just looks so nice. Jumpsuits, they tend to elongate us and it just makes us a little taller and a little slimmer. So I really love jumpsuits especially this kind because it's really comfortable and it's really flattering this one has a little bit of elastane so it definitely hugs the right places it's not too tight for me i would say maybe the six would have been a little looser which is nice but it would also have been a little too long so i feel like the this size the size four which is what i got i'm always in between four and six for season and i got the 36 or size four us this is basically cotton with elastane and i really love this one i think it's super flattering it's not too long for me i do love to pull up the sleeves or just fold them and i love to leave the buttons open i think this piece is really worth the money i would probably have paid full amount on this one because i just love it so much and i think it's totally worth the the, the money now the next piece is something that I also really loved and I think I mentioned to you guys that this was the first item I actually typed on the day of the archives. I typed this first because I knew it was going to be in the archives and I was lucky to find and I also typed a keel. So I got those two pieces as the first ones. The Aston Coach I got in 36. It doesn't, I think it runs through the size. I don't think it would be great to size down. 
I think the sizing is great because it gives you a little bit of room. Comes with a spare button. It has 69% of wool, 22% polyamid, 4% polyester, 2% acrylic, and 1.3% cotton. So it's a very mixed, but mostly wool, which means it's a little thick and warm enough. I won't, I won't say that's for winter. Depends on the winter that you are right now. Like in New York, I don't think this is a winter coat. This would be mostly like a spring, a great spring coat and fall as well. The color is actually not the same as the ghillie skirt. So I was planning to get that to wear with my ghillie skirt, which is in houndstooth as well. But the color of my ghillie is actually more saturated. I'm going to show you guys and you can see. But what I love, well, one of the things I love the most about this coat first is that I love the raglan sleeves. I really like when a coat is like this because you don't have a problem with the fit. It doesn't have that problem that the shoulder is just too big or too small and doesn't quite fall on you correctly. But this one is just perfect. I think the sleeves were great. The length was great. The, the coat is completely lined, so I really like that. Just makes it easy to put on and off. And one thing that's really cool about it is that you can detach the hood. So this one comes with a hood, which is really cool if you want to wear that when it's raining. I think it's a great coat. So I would say if you have a chance to get this one, go for it because it's a really, really good piece. And talking about coats, I also found a Leo coat. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Leo coat. I have one in Sage, which is 100% wool. And I have reviewed already. So if you guys want to take a look at that one, I'm going to link here. This one I got in size 34. I actually got confused. I wasn't sure if I should get 34 or 36. And I sized down. So it does fit me. It's a huge Leo coat runs really, really large. You can easily wear this um, your usual size or size down. It's going to be fine. The only problem with me is that since I have large hips, this part here at the bottom won't really button easily depending on the, the pants that I'm wearing. But other than that, I think the size is perfect. There's a lot of room here on the armhole. Also, the length is really great. And it's a really chunky and beautiful one. Very warm, really nice, much thicker than this one for sure. And this is 65% wool, so definitely a lot of um, amount of wool in it. 20% polyamid, 10% merino wool, and 5% acrylic. So this one is also lined, and it's a piece that I am really enjoying. I actually wore a few times already, and I'm really happy with this one. It was a really good price compared to the, the full price right now. So I love it. Sorry, I'm just not used to, you know, with my hair yet. I'm just doing, like, all the the styles I can to make this work but I need to wash the hair and make sure that you know I have it right like not right now the next item that I'm going to show you is this earring the tailor earring they're super cute I had tried these before I'm just do like this and the turquoise color and I really liked and now that they were on sale during the archives I decided to get the green because I really love green, you guys know. And I think it's beautiful. I think this pair is just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of see-through. Like the gems, the, the stones inside, they're kind of see-through. I'm going to try to show you. Can you see? This is the other side. I think they're really beautiful. They don't feel too heavy, but they're also not like completely lightweight. So I think it's the right amount. It doesn't feel like too much. And I really love how gold it is. Like this yellow gold is really pretty. I don't think it's the most flattering kind of gold on me. Unless I am tan. But I really love this one. So these were, I think, 100, uh, I think they were $85. In my opinion, it's worth it. I have some of this as on jewelry. And actually, they hold up, up really, really well. Now, the next piece I actually don't have with me, which is the Cervan shirt. I really love the color of that shirt. It's, if I'm not wrong, 100% cotton. Very comfortable, but I didn't feel like I got my right size. The size 4 felt a little bit small on certain parts. Like, it didn't really give me enough room 
if I wanted to put a top underneath and that was kind of bothering me. I love the shirt, the color's perfect. It's a very nice and thick fabric, but I just didn't feel like 100% with it, so I decided to return that one. It's a great shirt though. I would say, if you have broad shoulders, I would say size up, or if you are busty, definitely size up, because I got my usual size, and which is the 36 or 4, which is normally great for shirts, like the Tomboy is good for me, the Hero shirt, all the Cezanne shirts, the Chloe shirts, actually all of them I wear in 4 or 36, but this one just felt a little bit too small. So for this event, I would be in between 4 and 6 if I were you, depending on your structure. Like if you have broad shoulders or if you have more bust than me, by the way, I have everything linked below, as well as all my measurements in case you want to know. The Chuck trousers, I completely forgot about the Chuck the Chuck trousers. I have this in camel in size 38 and I tried the 36. It was really small and sadly this one is very small. I can't really try on for you because the pants won't go up my legs. But I have a full review with the camel one. So if you guys want to see how the fit is on me, just um, check my video. I'm going to put on the description. Sorry guys, I'm just getting used to my hair. And then you guys can see everything about it. This is a really good pair of pants. I love the material. Love how it fits, not the size, sadly, because I got the wrong one. They are definitely a little bit too long, but that's for most uh, Cezanne trousers. And they do have elastic, so they're definitely butt friendly. Like if you have hips, this is your pair of pants. You have a great chance of this working for you, they're amazing. Sadly, I didn't find on the archives the right size, so this one's going back. So today was a short video. I just wanted to share with you real quick the items that were remaining that I didn't review before. Just in case you guys want to score one of them and you're not sure about sizing. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Mila in New York. Would love to see you guys there. And if you have any questions, just feel free to drop a comment below and I'm going to get back at you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.